Pigeons and Planes. What's up, y'all? Jinx here for Pigeons and Planes. It's almost the end of the year, and 2017 was a crazy one for music. We were introduced to tons of great new artists in 2018. It's probably going to be a breakout year for a lot of them. So who's got next? We have some ideas, and here are four artists that we think are set to take over 2018. Chippy Red is an Ohio artist mixing rap and melodies for a hybrid style that feels entirely new. His hooks stick, and his charisma and songwriting ability make him stand out. His song Love Scars blew up this year, and if he can keep delivering at this level, it's easy to imagine him finding his spot in the mainstream. To create my own style, I'll combine three or four different styles and put them together. And that's Trippy Red style, basically. Hip hop, R&B, alternative rock, and fucking pop. At the end of the day, the objective is just to do as many songs from as many genres as possible within my career and win awards for it. I'm an 18 year old rapper from Canton, Ohio, the second most dangerous small city in America. And we don't make it out of there, like nobody does. Ain't nobody made it out of there but Marilyn Manson. Jesse Reyes is a singer and songwriter who was born in Toronto to Colombian parents. She makes pop music with real emotion, pairing incredibly catchy hooks with lyrics that you believe. Whether she's celebrating new success or taking on the problems with the music industry, Jesse's music always packs a punch. I grew up in the house with a lot of salsa and a lot of cumbia and boleros, and my dad played guitar too, and we used to sing in church. And then my brother brought reggae into the house, so that was the next, the next sort of music that I fell in love with. And then Bob Marley and Barrington Levy. And after that, hip hop came into my life and I discovered Biggie and Tupac. And then it's just been, it's just because it was already a mosaic by having been born into that family, it seemed natural to like keep acquiring new taste. Hello, my name is Brittany Smith and uh, Ah, fuck, that joke went nowhere. Andrea Reserve, a rap trio from Arizona who are now based in LA. They called their style blue collar rap because of the relatable subject matter, but their beats still bump. The latest EP is called Drive It Like It's Stolen, and it's special. I started rapping in high school, and my friend told me, he's like, hey, my friend Parker makes beats. Eventually, we kind of hooked up, and we were both, we both sucked, so it was kind of something that we like bonded on because we both had like no experience at all. We started at the bottom together. Now we're here, you know? Shout out to Drake, you know what I mean? Now we're here. Now we're, oh now God. We're Pigeons and planes, we out here go karting. The best way to describe our sound would be to say that it's like constantly trying to make something that's weird, but also just sounds cool. Like it's not just weird. Like it's easy to make music that's like really familiar, and if someone hears it, they're like, "Oh, I've heard something like that." And it's also easy to make music that no one's ever heard before. But it's not easy to make music that no one's ever heard that's also accessible. That also it's like. It's not like so jarring that only a small demographic can make it. George Miller built a huge following as an online comedian with characters like Pink Guy, but his music under the name Joji is totally different. It's calming, meditative music built around gorgeous piano and hushed vocals. He released his debut EP in Tongues in 2017, and his serious music career is just getting started. My artist name is Joji. I'm from Japan. My Western name is George. Naturally, in Japan, everyone called me Joji. There was a lot of water around me. When I was young, me and some kids would go down to the rice fields. We'd catch frogs and stuff, and I think I learned to enjoy quiet, peaceful things. I feel like when I make music, I'm trying to recreate that feeling a lot. Making melodies and stuff is just from humming shit over and over in your head until you get it right. It helps to not not listen to music when I'm on the train or transporting because then I've, I'm so bored that I have no choice but to hum to myself. So I got good at just making jingles. So those are just four incredible artists who are set to have a big year. For more video content with rising artists and established stars, surprising interviews, breaking news, video premieres, and more, check out the Pigeons of Plains YouTube channel. Happy holidays from PMP. See you all in 2018.